Samsung tablet and Samsung TV. Completely free by the way, no apps. So let's dive right into it. Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm Riz and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can screen mirror your Samsung tablet, any tablet by the way, to an on Samsung TV. Yeah, it's pretty easy. It's completely free by the way. No need to download any softwares, any applications for the tablet. It's completely free and built into it. So let's dive right into it. Yeah, that rhymed by the way. All right, so the first thing you wanna do on your iPad is to just make sure your iPad is connected to, connected to some sort of a connection. In this case, I could use Wi-Fi, I could use a mobile hotspot if you have it, if you have one, or you could also use a hotspot right from your TV if your TV does support that. Mine doesn't do that, so instead I'm gonna use Wi-Fi just to be on the just for the was just for the sake of this tutorial. So just make sure your iPad is connected to the uh, Wi-Fi connection. Now you can use anything you like. You can use mobile hotspot if you like. Okay, so just make sure your iPad is connected to the Wi-Fi connection. Um, that's pretty much it. No need to download anything on the iPad. Now let's jump to the TV. All right, so on your TV, the first thing you want to do is to go to the settings. You can go to the settings by uh, click on menu button on your uh, remote control. Just go to the uh, settings. And if you have never done this before, go to the uh, network settings and uh, go to the uh, network settings inside the network and uh, just go to the just click on your Wi-Fi or hotspot whatever you're using right now I'm using Wi-Fi so I'm just gonna go network settings and make sure my TV is connected to my connection by the way if you have never done this before it might ask you for a Wi-Fi password so just enter the password and that's pretty much it all right so once the TV is connected to the uh, Wi-Fi connection now it's really important all you have to do is find the screen mirroring tab. Now, uh, if you have source on your remote control, you can use source. By clicking source, you have multiple options, but you can also go to the uh, settings and go to the network, and under network settings, you have screen mirroring. So just open the screen mirroring, and uh, that's pretty much it. No need to do anything else on the TV, by the way. All right, so uh, by the way, if you were wondering if your TV supports screen mirroring or not, I have a full video on that. I'll be linking that below or somewhere in the description box below. All right, so on your tab, uh, swipe down the uh, control center. Also, just to be on the safe side, make sure your iPad and your TV are connected to the same connection. Uh, it, can be, uh, your, it can be your hotspot, it can be the Wi-Fi. In this case, it's my Wi-Fi. All right, so uh, once you swipe down the control center, uh, just make sure, uh, just find a tool called Smart View. It should be by it should be installed by default. It's a Samsung's tool, so just click on it. They changed the name, by the way, so it's not screen mirroring anymore or mirror cost anymore. It's Smart View. So just click on your TV. It will ask you for your permissions. Just click on Start Now, and uh, yeah, there you go. It's connecting. It's pretty easy, by the way, and I'll show you how to stop it if you want to stop this. It's pretty, pretty, pretty simple. So this is it, I'm Riz, and if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely get back to you, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching, and peace out.